people, good afternoon. Um, welcome to Miro African Television. On today's episode, I'm going to talk about uh, the news disturbing our people back home in Nigeria and uh, other part of African countries um, because of the visit of the um, um, formal um, colonial um, kingdom of Britain. Um, Prince Charles visited Nigeria and uh, most of our people are not even happy about it. Um, I will tell our people that you don't need to be angry about uh, the issues going on with uh, Nigeria and Britain because um, I keep on asking most of our people that normally says the independence of Africa, that Nigeria is an independent nation. Um, my question always is, um, since uh, the the uh, declaration or the let me use um, Berlin um, um, conference, eighteen eighty four. And uh, today, they came out to tell you that they have given Africa independent. Have they went back to that same Berlin? Has they went to that Berlin on 1884 to divide Africa among themselves? Before you will call yourself an independent nation, you have to uh, eradicate anything that came with the full packet. The full packet of colonialism means involved the Congo Conference, the Congo Conference, as they call it, German Congo Conference, the division of Africa. Because that's the only way we can be able to ratify and solve their problems in terms of independence. Um, our people should stop complaining about um, the visit of high ranking or former colonial masters until we went back. To Berlin and fix that divided cake. That divided cake needs to be fixed back. Do you know that these people divided Africa without thinking of our ethnic um, 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 people, our, our our people? They divide some of us are in Cameroon, some of us are in Gabon, some of us. They didn't even care how we operate. You know, I have made a video before showing that the part of Yoruba was also in in uh, majority part of Yoruba land is in, in Togo, Cote d'Ivoire and other things and majority part of Igbo land is also in Cameroon and other other part of um, African countries let, let, let me play this thing so that you you will listen to it um, maybe just listen 130 years ago carving up Africa in Berlin in 1885 European leaders met at the infamous Berlin Conference to divide Africa and arbitrarily draw up borders that exist to this day. The map on the wall in the Reich Chancellery in Berlin was 5 meters, 16.4 feet, tall. It showed Africa with rivers, lakes, a few place names and many white spots. When the Berlin Conference came to an end on February 26, 1885, after more than three months of deliberation, there were still large swathes of Africa on which no European had ever set foot. Representatives of 13 European states, the United States of America and the Ottoman Empire converged on Berlin at the invitation of German Chancellor Otto von Bismarck to divide up Africa among themselves in accordance with international law. Africans were not invited to the meeting. The Berlin Conference led to a period of heightened colonial activity by the European powers. With the exception of Ethiopia and Liberia, all the states that make up present-day Africa were parceled out among the colonial powers within a few years after the meeting. Lines of longitude and latitude, rivers, and mountain ranges were pressed into service as borders separating the colonies. Or one simply placed a ruler on the map and drew a straight line. Many historians, such as Olyemi Akin Wilmi from Nasarawa State University in Nigeria, see the conference as the crucible for future inner African conflicts. In African studies, many of us believe that the foundation for present-day crises in Africa was actually laid by the 1884-85 Berlin Conference. 
the partition was done without any consideration for the history of the society, Akin Wumi told Mirror African TV. Traditional boundaries not considered. New borders were drawn through the territories of every tenth ethnic group. Trade routes were cut, because commerce with people outside one's colony was forbidden. Studies have shown that societies through which new frontiers were driven would later be far more likely to suffer from civil war or poverty. The conference did irreparable damage to the continent. Some countries are still suffering from it to this day, Akin Wumi said. In many countries, such as Cameroon, the Europeans rode rushat over local communities and their needs, said Michael Pesek, a researcher in African colonial history at the University of Erfurt. But historians, he explained, were now less inclined than they were to regard the arbitrary redrawing of Africa's borders as the root cause of conflicts in post-colonial Africa. People had learned to live with borders that often only existed on paper. Borders are important when interpreting Africa's geopolitical landscape, but for people on the ground they have little meaning. Scared to reopen Pandora's box. In the 1960s, as African countries gained their independence, African politicians could have changed the colonial borders. But they desisted from doing so. A large majority of politicians said around 1960 if we do that we will open up Pandora's box, Pesek said. They were probably right. Looking at all the problems Africa has had over the last 80 years, there have been numerous conflicts within states but hardly any between states. When examining African conflicts, the colonial power that occupied a particular tract of land, the Belgians, French, British or Germans, is less relevant than the significance of belonging to specific ethnic groups which colonial powers often pitted against each other. Ethnic allegiances were far more open and flexible in the 19th century than they are today, Pesek said. In pre-colonial Rwanda, the Hutu and Tutsi were social groups and it was possible to switch from one to the other. It was colonial rule that cemented the division of the population, of which one of the consequences was the 1994 genocide. In 2010, on the 125th anniversary of the Berlin Conference, representatives from many African states in Berlin called for reparations for the colonial era. The arbitrary division of the continent among European powers, which ignored African laws, culture, sovereignty, and institutions, was a crime against humanity, they said in a statement. They called for the funding of monuments at historic sites, the return of land and other resources which had been stolen, the restitution of cultural treasures and recognition that colonialism and the crimes committed under it were crimes against humanity. But nothing has come of all this. The historians from Nigeria and Germany are not surprised. There is much talk of reparations for the slave trade and the Holocaust. But little mention is made of the crimes committed by the European colonial powers during the hundred years or more they spent in Africa, said Pesek. Olyemi Akin Wumi doesn't believe there will ever be any reparations, of any sort, shape or form. Wanted to have such a thing. They destroyed them. They were all destroyed. They killed our political elites. Today, they are talking about the Jewish, the, the, the massacre that the, the Germans did. But nobody wants to make mentions of the colonialism the division of Africa, the separation of, of families and ethnic people, the destruction of our language. Do you know that the language we all in Africa are speaking today doesn't belong to us? They edited our language. They write the language to suit them. They write it for them to understand what you're saying. They, they deleted everything, heritage of Africa. And you will be standing in the same cake they baked for you and be complaining about Prince Charles visiting Africa. Nigeria is being made. Look, they, they put Nigeria down so that black race will still remain under their control. Hausa is climbing on top of the other tribes of, of, of the nation because of the, the, the... If you listen to this message, he said that they, they, they walk client against the other one they use brother against the brother they divide you they t make you to think that you are more superior you are different from your fellow brother but they are all, we all are one
before the white man came into colonization we have our market our market runs the way european union runs their affairs today they copied our ideas they steal our knowledge they reform it and establish it in their own territory since over 130 something years ago africa was divided africa was divided among the european western world including united states people doesn't know that they think that it's only europe america was involved from day one till today america is also in protecting that same ideology of divide and rule and colonization and if you try to liberate yourself out of it you will be the next target that they got to follow to destroy so stop telling your people that we are independent if 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 the world said that they want to give africa independent listen to me listen attentively because if you sign any contract with a white man if you go into agreement or if there is anything written down most of you know what i'm talking about and if you want to abolish that agreement either you make it public I am pulling out of this agreement. I don't want to be part of it. As America is telling Russia, they are pulling out of most of agreement they signed before. Either the European Union will make it open to the entire world that they are pulling out of this Berlin Conference Agreement of 1884 to 1885. If they will come out and make the open declaration the Germans will tell you we are no longer part of it. We are pulling out of it. Britain will mention it. France will mention it. Then you will know that oh, the real liberation, the real freedom is about to come. But if they have never made such a thing open, you are still their object. You are still their property till tomorrow. And it left for our political elites to press for such a thing because any empty promises as america promised russia if german unite together nato will only be in german they will not exceed the german territory that is open mouth declaration and russia didn't press us to put it in writing today nato is at russia backyard that is to tell you any empty world you are now an independent nation because of Berlin Conference, Britain cannot give Nigeria independence. France cannot give their territory independence because there was a declaration sharing that, uh, those uh, continents, giving it to, handing it over to countries. So if that company, country coming come out telling you that you are from today, you are an independent nation, no, 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 no. We got to go back to Berlin Conference. We got to go back to that place make the another declaration as from today 11 or uh, 13th of november 2018 the berlin conference is declaring african nation an independent self-owned continent that the 1885 conference the uh, as they call it congo conference is from today null and void sign it make it open as they did it on that day if such a thing have never ever happened believe me you you are still the object of those so-called people because even though united states they say that slavery is gone but there are database in us where you will still trace back every slave to trace their owners till tomorrow till tomorrow if america want to tell you the simple truth every slave in u.s descendant grandchildren the american government can trace back to the owners of your forefathers why didn't they delete those database if you people are free if they have abolished slavery if they have given africa independent there are things that need to be uprooted we have to go back to the root uproot it entirely then you know that you are free we are dealing with serpent. These guys are serpent, very trickish. Look, oh my God. You don't need to be offended if Prince Charles visit Africa.
you don't need to be upset if any colonial power or or Cameroon president living in 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 Paris and be ruling Cameroon for decades he doesn't live in in Cameroon but he's ruling Cameroon from France to tell you what are we talking about I'm just doing this video now because I'm upset seeing people my people complaining raising their voices on the government of Nigeria we don't have government the British says when they are leaving Africa they handed their company to the northern part of the Nigeria to take care of their property why didn't they give it to the Igbos or other tribes because they know that these people are nationalists they are patriotic people they want to be fully independent or uproot themselves from the concussion that the white man mixed together so what i'm trying to tell you people if you make videos if you do talk something about africa raise this voice as from today on facebook any part where you are going if you tell me that africa is independent what about berlin conference the congo conference they call it if you want to give us our freedom if you want to pull out of our territory we have to go back to berlin and destroy that accord it was an accord that's why it was respected till today france could not respond to nigeria britain cannot respond into cameroon belgium cannot leave congo and move to south africa because that territory that agreement is still valid till today till death till now imagine the accord of 18 something is being respected today and somebody will come back to tell you you are an independent person hello hello if it's something that is already void you will see that france will be digging in nigeria to secure nigeria all of them will be digging to to secure other territories no look at libya how france bombarded libya with upon that african nation said don't bomb let us go there and put peace the same masters came in bomb hell out of libya send libya back to stone age what are we not saying code of war want to do their affairs they do their politics because for politics for somebody to be mat to mature in terms of politics or for a nation that is virgin want to grow you will encounter some sickness and everything code of war we are passing through reformation in terms of political division who came in france came in bombarded the whole military basis of code of war send it in their military convert everything and place their own person there to tell you and nobody condemned it nobody criticized it in the international community nobody did in western war because we all sat down in berlin and shared our territory that shall not trespass so if we are saying that we are independent nation we have to move back to berlin uproot destroy and cancel and make it null avoid that's my message for you people god bless you if you have not yet subscribed to Miro african television please try to subscribe to Miro african television and click that bell invite others to join the um, program share this video you may download this video and send share it within whatsapp you know let everybody in africa get access to this message god bless you remember bless and chiko kikabiyama will always keep on protecting the people and i will keep on digging deep in bringing out things to enlighten our people the next step next step to follow ogadro nama I am your brother, Zebed Ejilikemo, Korea. Um, it shall be well with all of us. Thank you for tuning in and remain blessed for now. Bye bye.